Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. 2018 Fireballs here, back with another MLB 9 Innings 22 video. Before we get into it today, I wanted to shout out my Discord server. I'm closing in on 100 members there, so super excited, and I would love it if you guys would feel free to join. Uh, it's an MLB 9 Innings server, so we talk about things like friend battles, free agents, uh, league mode, rewards, signature cards, all that good stuff. So uh, if you guys want to, go ahead and feel free to join. I'll leave the, the link in the description box down below and also in the comments section. Uh, but yeah, getting into it today, we're with the Houston team. I've got team select diamond packs. I also have the prime player pack to open up. Uh, we'll be saving the live diamond wish player pack uh, for the end of the season, so we won't be getting to that. And also, we won't be opening up team selective packs until Com to us decides to update the game to where we can open it up uh, all at once. Uh, that may seem like a stupid thing to do, uh, but I can live without team selective packs for now, so we'll see how long it takes. But yeah, those are going to be the main things. We'll also be skill changing uh, a couple players and then using some greens and blues. So let's hop straight into it with the silver player packs. I should have enough space to open up all of the packs without having the special train. Uh, also, Justin Verlander is back into the game and Ken Giles for the Houston Astros. So I'm super excited. I'm really looking forward to pulling their cards sometime in the future. Uh, Verlander is back, so that's uh, a really good thing since he is one of the better starting pitchers for the Astros. His 19 sig is a monster card. And he probably should have won the Cy Young that year, but uh, that's debatable. Garrett Cole won the Cy Young instead of him. Uh, so no primes throughout the silver player packs. Uh, maybe some upgrade material. Also, earlier today, there was a live 2022 Ryan Presley in the free agent market. So I was able to pick that card up uh, with a full bar. So he'll be um, upgraded today. I have a few normal cards that I can use to upgrade him. There's a diamond pull right there. Always good to see that. All silvers, but one diamond is uh, okay. Uh, Chris Russin, 2013, triple bronze, triple chocolates. Uh, that'll be special training material. I'm also finishing up special training on my Zach Greinke normal card. Uh, 2019 is the year that I have. So looking forward to getting into level 8 as soon as possible. Nothing much besides that diamond so far. Uh, there's a Michael Brantley. I don't have his Astros card, but maybe I can pull one today with one of the team selective diamonds. Last two cards are two silvers, and there's a Scott Casimir, so that's nice. Uh, his cards are pretty rare. Hopefully I uh, can upgrade him today with that. Three premium batter pitcher packs. Sorry, three pitcher premium packs. Mix that up a bit. <laughs> Blake Snell, Bauer, and Brents. And then we have two premium batter packs. We'll be using the two great increase resets that you guys saw right there in my inventory on Alex Bregman. Uh, his great increase uh, distribution is at a 69, so trying to get that above a 70. Gold player packs, pretty much all from the event, uh, the wheel event that is, that just ended. Uh, nothing special right there, there's a Chris Gittens, and there's a Jacob deGrom, he got injured, it sucks. Such a great pitcher, it's such a shame that he gets injured all the time, we really wish he would stay healthy. He's such an amazing, uh, an amazing pitcher to watch all the time. He just lights everybody up, and uh, I'm a Red Sox fan, so seeing him play against the Red Sox, we won that day, but a lot of times the offense doesn't produce for him. We get here three vintages, Jackson, Langford, and Sanders, so no legend today. Alright, let's do the... Two teams select the diamond batter pitcher packs. First, we'll go one batter and one pitcher. So looking for Verlander with pitcher for batter. Uh, Brantley would be nice. Uh, a vintage maybe. Uh, let's see who it is. Jason Castro. I have him at 20 out of 20 already. Triple golds, but all fools gold. So he'll probably be black diamond material for my Jason Castro 2013. He does have a sig year which is pretty good. I believe it is also his 2013 year. But all right, pitcher, let's pull a Justin Verlander. Um, or even a 19 Ryan Presley would be good. I could use that. Who is this going to be? Dallas Keuchel. I actually haven't pulled one of his good years. His 16 year is actually a down year. So I'm going to save that card for now. Oh, I totally forgot about the ultimate player packs. So let's do those. Hopefully one diamond. 
All right, let's go. One diamond out of five, good odds. And it's a Miguel Rojas, 2020. I had this card uh, for a while on my Boston team. So that brings back good memories. All right, prime player pack. Not a diamond. Let's see, there's actually a lot of Houston Astros diamonds. There's like nine of them, so let's see who it is. Evan Longoria, 2010. Good for a Tampa Bay Rays team, uh, but no use to me. So, all right, we'll go and move on to upgrades. See if we can upgrade anybody. There's that Casimir, and then there's Presley I know of. Oh, we also got Garrett Cole. Very nice, very nice. So hopefully we can have some success today. Ah, that sucks. He's only at 12 out of 12, and I've had him, I've had him like that for such a long time. Garrett Cole has a good train going, so can he get up? No. So unsuccessful there as well. And then last but not least, Josh Reddick. It's a gold card, but he's at level 18. Uh, I'll see. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't, no big deal. Yeah, I thought. I, I kind of expected that, but it's okay. All right, Ryan Presley. All the upgrade material I have are normals for him, so I wouldn't be surprised if none of these worked. First one doesn't work. We're on a streak right now, but not in the uh, ideal direction. <laughs> there we go. There's a successful upgrade. So his base stats start out with the stats he uh, had at the end of the last season, uh, but those will change throughout the rest of the uh, baseball year. So hopefully he improves. I don't expect him to, so I don't want to invest too much into him. We'll be doing some skill changes, um, but I'll settle for something mediocre or decent. I'm not trying to go all out on this card uh, just yet. It's wise to wait for the live players to be done at the end of the season. And then once they have their stats solidified, then you can determine if you want to keep them in your lineup or not. But this is the first live D uh, diamond team card that I've gotten for any of my teams. So not too bad out of seven normals, I believe it was. Two successful upgrades, not too bad for all normals. All right, moving on now, we're gonna skill change Presley. 10 skill changes. Hopefully we can get something half decent. He came with these skills in the free agent market, so we'll see. Triple ones right there. Triple threes right there, but nothing really exciting. Setup man untouchable. I'll keep that. That's satisfactory for now. He's a live card, and that's better than I could have asked for and 345 specialist is a good third skill so yeah I'll keep that right there all right I have two premium skill change tickets and I tried using some on Alex Bregman last time but I wasn't able to get a black diamond skill uh, he has a really good triple three set and his other skill slots so uh, even if I don't get anything I can revert back to that charisma a specialist training junkie had me excited there Thought that was going to be a triple three set or a triple gold set at least but that's okay let's see which this one is black diamond skill ooh batter's chemistry um see i don't plan on putting him on the bench though and i wouldn't want this in my lineup so i'm gonna stick with the two diamond skills I can always get batter's chemistry later on, but yeah, I'm going to have to pass up on that. If that were Pioneer, I would have definitely kept it, uh, but that just wasn't meant to be. Let me just see if there's anybody else that I could skill change. Um, not too sure. I believe some of my relief pitchers may need uh, help with skills. Actually, uh, this Icorn I've kept for my 25th man. Let me see if I have anybody else, though. Uh, Tony Sip, Fixer Untouchable, Gonzalez is okay, Altuve, that's who I was going to skill change, okay, good thing I remember, I was working on him last video, but I didn't get anything on him, uh, let's see if we can get anything with the last five, Batting Machine, Endurance, nothing on that one, Training Junkie, Slugger Instinct, not too bad, but could be better, Master Base Thief and Prediction, last skill change, and nothing going for that one. Alright, so no success, 
Uh, we'll top off the video with some greens and blues. Uh, these greens and blues came from the end of the month rewards and also the spring boxes that we got. So Mike Scott has slow, has slow starter on him. I got this in the last Houston Astros video. Let's see if we can roll some decent skills. Nothing right there. Hoping for at least one gold skill with this green ticket. Last boss, let's go. That's really good. Now let me use some blue tickets on that bronze skill. Maybe at least a decent skill, a silver skill. Um, that's the least I'm asking for. A gold skill would be awesome. Finesse pitcher, dominant pitcher would be amazing. Fixer. Uh, could, be, could be better. Could be better. So I'm going to use one more. Hopefully it doesn't go back to a bronze. If it does, that's a bummer. Stability. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. So, that actually worked out pretty well. Slow starter, last boss, stability is not bad at all. I'm probably going to have to revert his train, uh, since it is a finesse pitcher train. Looking at that, right now, he is set up for the finesse bonus, but he does have decent velocity uh, with his base stats and the train that I got on him. So yeah, that was pretty successful. And that is going to do it for this video, guys. I'll be using all those cards for special training later on. But thank you again for watching. If you guys did enjoy the video, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. Uh, check out my Discord, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video. And follow me on my Reddit and Instagram. I post MLB 90s content on there um, pretty often. Uh, memes and other cool stuff like that. And... Uh, also, don't forget to go ahead and check out the other YouTubers that do MLB 9 innings that I have listed in the description box below. Uh, those guys are awesome and I appreciate them all for the content they make and they've helped me a lot uh, as I've helped them a lot with making videos and uh, video ideas. So uh, we really like it if you show them some support. Uh, yeah, that's going to pretty much do it. So you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see all of you in the next video.